Here we are coming down the other side. It's uh, 5,500 feet top of sea level, that. It's pretty, pretty cool, yeah? Not pretty cool, very cool. It's uh, 63 up there, Fahrenheit, whatever that is in uh, Celsius. So it's, you know, it's not bad. It's just that wind was a bit, a bit chilly in the wind when that blew through. I ain't seen any other trucks apart from the logging trucks. Weird, eh? But it doesn't really go anywhere, come across or forward. It's no. Uh, actual benefit apart from logging trucks or, the, or maybe uh, the little trucks to feed Winthrop and things like that um, you ain't you know nobody apart from me who's just unloaded on that side or the only other time I've done it as well is uh, me and Jack did it for kicks and giggles basically last year coming back from Florida um, I was running light with a load of plants on then and one other time I did it because I had a load of uh, apples just up the north there on the other side of the pass so it was it was actually quicker and I was running empty. Then we get the lakes down uh, on this side when we get to uh, further down. fire down here there last year, we were just coming back, I think I videoed it, um, it just started. I'd like to go back there, I, I wanted to lo do logging when I first moved out here, but nobody would give me a start because the uh, jobs weren't vacant then, it was a different, going on seven years ago, uh, there was plenty of drivers, now, now they're willing to take you on logging, that's for sure, but I've got the truck now. I keep saying it one day we'll uh, I'll go up with my neighbour. He'll take me up. Up the mountain. painting the road. Kicks and giggles. I imagine the logging roads are going to be pretty challenging. <laughs> the, the main road could be challenging. Obviously, uh, they won't come up either in uh, Main roads not open. Not open to them either. I don't. I I haven't seen it here, but I saw it in Austria. Uh, a lot of the uh, when they log the trees, if it's really difficult to get in, so somebody still has to be on the ground and walk in there, hiking. But they'll have a big noose in a helicopter. Uh, the the helicopter. They put the noose round the bottom of the tree. They sling it down, and uh, it's obviously a 
attached to the helicopter, the uh, helicopter pulls them up and uh, drops them on the road. It's pretty cool, really. Rag the whole thing out of there. Is hard graft that logging. I have a few friends who do it and stuff. And uh, so I just got a picture of this guy. Yeah, I have a uh, few friends. Few mates who do the logging down in Cedar Wally there, they um it's difficult. You know, look at look at the side of this mountain where your trees grow. They've got to walk up there, dragging the big old chainsaw and shit. It's not for the faint hide and a lot of accidents do happen. It's pretty dangerous. There is things I'll tell you about, it's pretty cool to watch actually series and what have you. Uh, with the noose and what have you. Ken, my buddy, uh, he drives one of them amazing machines that strips everything off, cuts it, strips it and fucking chokes it. Absolutely amazing. Evil machine to watch. to be pedalling up. I'd cheat and flag a, a trucker down, I think, and chuck the bike on the back. Hey, it gives a lift. We're starting to get a mong it as you get halfway down and you're into back into the tree line and stuff. It gets windy, will a bit of windy around here. Ideal on a motorbike, not so ideal in something that's 70 plus foot long. Bent in the middle, which is a good job. It's bent in the middle, really. Well, not in the middle, but halfway down. You know what I mean. That's. Uh, um, I can't remember. <laughs> Something monument, the central monument or something or other, I think that's called. That one crate is meant. Pointy Spiky uh, Mountain, we'll name it that instead. I haven't got a clue what I'm on about, have I? This is on a, uh, the top of the mountain is um, about 90 miles, uh, something like that, from, from my house. So it's only up the road. I know a lot of uh, English people, if they haven't travelled, they'll say, oh, 90 miles, that seems like a long way. But don't forget, this is one hit road. There isn't a great lot in between here, or Winthrop, uh, and getting over to our house. There's, uh, there's not a lot there, really. Oh, well, you, uh, sorry, you've got, you've got concrete and you've got a few uh, other villages you'll come through first. But Cedar Wool is the first major town you're going to get to from Winthrop. And 90 mile in US miles is basically like 30 mile English, English miles. So 
Well, I know a lot of people, I did, I did, especially when I come out of here, because uh, even Europe, unless you're over the west side of uh, Spain and stuff like that, you've got some big, fast, open areas, or southern Italy and stuff like that. Um, majority of it is getting very overpopulated and stuff like that. That's a prone landslide area, that, isn't it? Um, so when you come out here and you can travel for for miles and miles and miles with only seeing the odd vehicle and stuff like that, it was quite, Jesus Christ, this is big, this country. This is really, really big. Steph did try to explain that to me when I first moved here. I said, God, it's going to take forever to get anywhere. <laughs> The only place I think I can really re relate to the vastness and the size is once you get uh, maybe into Italy, uh, Turkey rather, and start heading east out of Turkey, or maybe Bulgaria, uh, get away from the city heading towards Black Sea. In the middle there you've got some quite big lumps of nothingness basically. <laughs> to think there's absolutely nobody out there. There's a lot of hiker here and there. Apart from wildlife. Oh lot nothing. Just out there to enjoy as well. Like it, climb it, sail it, ride on it. Do whatever you want, get out there, enjoy it. That's the uh, basically sort of motto in the USA. None of you, oh, you can't walk on that. No, no, that's pretty waffle. You can't, you can't go down there. Oh, no, 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 you can't go on that. That's been like that for a long time. You'll disturb it. Oh, heck no. Get out there. See what I mean? Trailhead. There you go. That's the start. That's where you park and away you go. Still nothing behind me. Nobody's caught up or anything. We'll stop at the uh, viewing area of the lake. That's pretty, pretty green. going the other way. Seems there must be something going down over the other side. Am I going the wrong way? Cars coming this way as well. It is a bit, uh, like I say, with the binding and stuff like that. You, you got to work a bit, you know. But uh, it cuts out the whole of Seattle. Everything. I don't have none of that shit. Even if I, well, I wouldn't have had to go through Seattle. I'd uh, come out of Stevens Pass, which is Gold Bar, and coming on at uh, Everett there. But still, you're going to hit a bit of traffic, obviously. A lot more, lot more than this traffic, that's for sure. A hell of a lot more. And which do you prefer? Freeways or a little bit of this? In fact, I get paid less to come this way. Because uh, it, this this load was mapped out to go back over Stevens Pass with the mileage. I get paid by mile. Uh, so if I, I put my mileage down, that'll be less than what they're actually quoted. I don't know whether I'll get there. Uh, quote or not, we'll have to look into that. Would be nice. But uh, I doubt that'll happen because I get paid on hub miles anyway on these jobs, which is nice. So whatever I do, I get paid for. Ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. Unlike when you're working for a broker. Hmm. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll pay you by... Well just the outskirts of a city sometimes, on the tip of each one. Robbing bar stewards. We're a bit wildlife poor in Winthrop. I didn't get out of the camera in time. There was a couple of deer wandering about, which is normal. Uh, we've got three. 
in our garden. A mother and uh, three babies, or two babies, I can't remember. They're a nuisance, they trample, that's why we ain't got any plants or flowers or anything, they trample everything down. It's a pain of laying the flower bed, uh, <laughs> eating the flowers. I suppose it's easier to grow the deer then, isn't it? They're prettier. Price you pay, pay to live in the country, innit, where they live. Oh, look at that. Oh, bloody hell. That's sort of uh, nice, isn't it? We should get a glimpse at the uh, lake very shortly. It's there on the right. Very shortly. As we come round the mountain, when she come. She'll be coming round the mountain. the mountains the other day with uh, Lee, so funny, because uh, obviously uh, I've explained Lee, the uh, resident mechanic in the yard, the young buck, uh, he's, well, he's a young buck isn't he, exactly the same as I was when I was a kid, and I'm like, stop for a coffee and we're looking at, look, Lee, look at the mountains, yeah it's a bloody mountain isn't it, you know, whatever, come on let's go, you know, oh, look, just take in, yeah, you know, because they're that used to that thing, not until you get older I think. You start to appreciate it. God, I sound old now, don't I? <laughs> We're too good. An old man like me, eh? you sit back and have a look at it. That was a strange accent, I don't know where that came from. We won't try and. Uh... Can I get in that parking lot? Do you think I can get in that parking lot? I don't think I can get in that parking lot. You know what? I'm not even going to try and get in that parking lot. Here we go, there's Diablo. Check that. That's chilly in there, that's glacier runoff. You won't want to be dipping in there, that's for sure. Even in summer, I wouldn't be going in there. That is super cold. Yeah, gun ads will be right on there. I'm being pissed, I just, that um, um, logging truck just come down the mountain. Bloody, video wouldn't start, would it? It froze and messed up, and he was sat on the jakes and everything. I was jumping about like a, <laughs> like a crazy man, I bet he thinks I'm a lunatic. I ru rushed through those bushes and shit over there to get videoing him, thinking it was working, and it, but he wasn't. Oh, well. Some you win, some you lose. It's a lot warmer down here, rather than sat right at the top, that's for sure. That is proper toasty, is that, um, that sun is, is very, very nice. Even the breeze uh, further down here, you know, it's not the, not the bit of cold, obviously, because it's getting, coming straight off the water there. You're not getting off the uh, frozen glacier and stuff like that now. Super. Lots of people here. So all this surrounding, this all this, no wonder it's absolutely freezing, because all this is your glacier runoff as well into the into the lake there so that is why jack is the only person who puts his feet in there in the summer and not moi not a chance absolutely freezing though but it is still a beautiful lake on we go 
and here we are down at the bottom of the lake. Not at the bottom, because if we're at the bottom, that means you'd be at the bottom, not the bottom. Well, they aren't going to say that word again. The beach area. Knob parking. Are you going to say that? No, 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 no. You can't make this shit up. Thunder knob. Try. <laughs> Sorry. I think we get a little bit of a little glimpse of the dam here somewhere. The dam, dam, not dam. This is where it's uh, it'd be hard work if we were fully loaded coming through this part. You've got to really take your time, otherwise you're going you're gonna to end up eating your brakes. No, we're going to get a look at the dam, no. I can't believe too many bloody trees. I would sort these forests out, you know. Bus, CDP bus. No, nope. down. Must have passed it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess a bit better now. We've got off the mountain. We'll say. Uh, we stay along here just following the river now for quite a way. Apart from being a little bit windy, uh, it's uh, reasonably flat. about it for a minute. The logging trucks back in the day coming down roads like this with no power steering. Holy cow, that's when truck drivers were real truck drivers. None of your Nancy Pantsies back then. Oh my goodness, no. That would have been hard. That would have been proper hard. I wonder if anybody back in those days said, well, I've just driven four hours, I've got to stop for 30 minutes. Or well, 45 minutes or whatever. I haven't had my official break. Or they're up a mountain and all of a sudden some new guy says, no, oh, 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 hang on a minute, the company's meant to uh, supply the PPI, not me, I shouldn't have to pay for that. Where's my fluorescent jacket? Well, wh what's going on? Why should I have to pay for that? You can't drive, you can't come on here without that on. He's set a I don't know what this country is, what the world is coming to rather. I, I was so, so close then to starting a run, going into a run. I, in fact, what is boiling my piss just right now is the, I see I'm on the English HGV uh, job site and things like that on Facebook and a couple of them. I like to keep it handed and I keep an interesting look on what's going on on the island and uh, and things like that uh, and uh, the complaints about when somebody puts up a job and it's 17 but 17 pound an hour or something it's like and they're all all reckon on their own this I fucking amazes me how much they think a truck driver should be worth it really does don't like the price that's being offered on the job, just fucking end up, get on with it, don't do it. Go 
to stack your goddamn bean cans at Sainsbury's or wherever. With your fluorescent jacket supplied for. There's the dam coming up. Ease up, tiger! There's the gate, this is where it's shut from here to home, which is uh, like 50 mile. No commercial vehicle. Did, did anybody else see that sign? I hope that sign meant for that, yeah, it meant for that lay-by, didn't it? It did mean for the lay-by. There you go, you've got a waterfall up there. I can't see it, can you see it? I can't see it. Can you, yeah, great. Further on, you've got the uh, um, offices and uh, where, where people live and maintain the the park and stuff like this, and where the train used to come into. I think it's just as far as the train used to get. Or did it go right way across? I don't know this one. I said it flattened out, didn't I? I lied, didn't I? <laughs> this isn't flat. That was flat as Dolly Parton. My hand in my pocket, thinking about Dolly's rockets. bits of water further down here that get trapped and that they will be pretty warm and nice for swimming in in summer even though there was <laughs> there's a sign there that says do not enter this is the prettiest drive I've ever done. I've ever done, I think. Trucks. Weird. This is um, 
where the uh, all all the people who look after the road and everything like that live. The rangers and all that malarkey. All the good people. And there's a big doo-doo train. Salt, uh, Seattle's uh, City Lightning. Light, rather. I just added the lightning on there, didn't I? I'm just making up things now as I go along. How strange. A man sat in a car park with his dog in a little pen. No vehicle. bleak out here in winter. <laughs> Visitor centres are always worth a look. Very, very interesting. It says report slides here. Does that mean uh, are you go tell him you went sidewards or had a real good slide or I think he means landslides. Campground ain't open yet. Uh, it won't be very long now. See, the gates are still across. Old Land Rover! That's an old one, isn't it? That's got some history right there. 5,000 miles away from home. British made! Made in Britain. Bloody holding me up though. Oh my goodness, look at what we got here for a Friday. Oh bloody hell. First time I've been over this road, this is um, Bend. Um, coming to, down towards Bend actually, over Mount Hood. I've dropped down from Mount Hood a little bit further back and uh, yeah, Oregon. Oregon is a beautiful, beautiful state. It's so much more fun running light with the flowers and stuff like that because obviously you, can, you know you are over worried about coming down the mountain passes or anything like that. There's no stress or anything. So you know you're gonna still hold it on your J brakes. Coming over the uh, the top this morning, we're down at minus, uh, what was it? It was down at like 30, 30 Fahrenheit, uh, what's that? Zero, freezing, a bit chilly. It is about a ski resort, but it's a bit fair, so, you know. It's not super high, I think it's about three, three and a half thousand feet. But, uh, knocking on three, and three eight, maybe. All the snow had gone up there. Ski resort was closed. Biggest uh, nighttime ski resort in the world. Mount well, Hood up there, apparently. Nighttime, good little one in the world. There you go. Oregon's 25. Oh, apart from the redwoods, so less. <laughs> oh, a huge, great, great um, beaches and 
their sand dunes and they've got a lot to offer. and 10% worth of visit. We warn the summertime uh, further down by the Canadian uh, California border, you will get uh, forest fires, wildfires and shit like that. They're renowned for it down there. It gets very, very hot. Look what we've got. We've got the little chipmunks. Oh my god, Jack would love it here. These are real little ones. Come on, little critters. little things. Oh, peekaboo. You can bet you can't see them, can you? Oh god, are you thinking I'm tripping now? No, are you? I'm not. There is a little critter. Come on, that bloody old little sod. There he is. Oh, peekaboo. <laughs> you did see him, didn't you? I'm not tripping. Oh, hello again. Hello. He's messing with me, isn't he? You know, little buggy. Oh. 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 Probably sneaking up out of another hole behind me or something. It's gonna bite me in the ass. Nope. We've gone. How much we got? Anyway, this is um big old old ink run. Just up yonder. So we have a look. Annika Rice, here we go. I've got the Satan as well. I've just gotten another load. This is still in Oregon. Um, got my load for tonight as well. Well, tonight, not tonight. Tonight? Yeah, tonight. Uh, so I've got a bit to do. I've got another 500 and something miles and then pick my next trailer up. Uh, get back out with it. Down to the agricultural. Agricultural. And then... Uh, Go to sleep and then set off again. That's going all back into Oregon. It's absolutely awesome low run this is. It takes me over to Cause Bay, which is right on the Pacific Highway 101, right on the coast of Oregon, and then runs me all the way down to the California uh, state line uh, for the next delivery. Wait, I'm forgetting the name of the place now, but I just had a quick look on the map. Absolutely great run. Super famous is the 101. It goes from uh, Canada all the way down to California. Check this, what we've got going on. Uh, there you go. Peter Oregon, I ain't got me Beverly's on. This is obviously an old road here. The old road. And you've got Big White Mountain over there. Big White Mountain number two. Don't know what they're called. Cold. Cold Mountain. It's some. How pretty that is, isn't it?
loads of camping areas around here absolutely brilliant Sounds like there's an actual fall further down there. I was going to say you could probably take a canoe down there, but it sounds like it drops off right down just around the, the bend there. I ain't got to... Can I get down? I ain't got time for this. Not <laughs> today. <laughs> Shit. That'd be nice to go for a wander down there. Looks pretty hard though. Really hard going. All that loose shit there. Oh, that is pretty long. Rushing off because I need to get going. 19, 1920, that bridge was built, that one there. They used to take only several cars over back then. Now we're up to 8,000 or so on the Millennium Bridge, which was the new one. Really cool, there's a, there's a Native American guy back there. I didn't want to go video him or anything like that. It was a bit, a bit embarrassing. He's got a, a old style flute thing. It sounds absolutely awesome, echoing around the, the valley and that sounds pretty cool, did that? Anyway, tell you about it, you read it, Google it or something like that and listen to the sound. Look at this for a cool little town. What cool is this? Ice cream. I wanted proper coffee, uh, but the garage there says they don't have any. Looks like everybody's run out of town. Hotel looks a little run down. That's cool. What's that? Cool Nugget Saloon. Hotel is still open, that's pretty cool. Oh my god. Says the general stop. Oh, there's coffee. Caff, that looks like I've got to take it. Search for coffee. Big fly that's just splattered on the windscreen isn't right in front of you. Here I am coming down to, into Newport, uh, Oregon. All the flowers obviously still, uh, still doing plenty of flowers. You want to see this trailer I've got sat behind me right now. So I picked this one up last night, it was a trailer change, and uh, it's, I was searching all over it for it, couldn't find it, couldn't find it anywhere. And then all of a sudden I did find it, it's a short little trailer, it's a single axle 27, 27 foot. That's all it is, a little bitty. I haven't done a trailer like this for, since I passed my test many, 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 many moons ago. Early 90s, uh, yeah, something like that. Beginning of the 90s. Um, yes, it's a little tidgy thing. Brilliant it is, because coming over here, some of the, uh, the places I've just delivered are super small places and things like that. But it's only a whole half a load on them. Absolutely great. And I, this is a cracking run, run is this. This is, uh, I'm coming up onto the 101. Just here now is the 101 in front of us. That's the uh, Pacific North, uh, Northwest Highway. Northwest? Am I making names up? Pacific Highway 101. Yes, north to south it goes. I've explained that before. Uh, cracking, very touristy though, so we're probably going to get a bit of traffic. But hey, oh, it is Saturday as well. But we can just puddle along, we're in no rush. We've got 10 drops with this, and uh, I'm just reading somebody's billboard. Um, yeah, so there's the sea just over yonder. I could see it as we came down. Um, you can't see, apparently, Steph was telling me when I do videos and you're on uh, your telephone, you can't see these mountains I talk about. She's only just told me. Uh, but if you're watching them on the telly, obviously you'll see them from a distance, I think. Let me know in the comments, boop, at the top there. Easy to do. I'll give it a little beat. So I've 
I've got two in this town here, Newport. And then I head south uh, to Coors Bay, uh, staying on the 101, all the way down, very, very, very down to the bottom of, um, of Oregon, which is, uh, my God, my God, stay there, Mrs. One wheel in the back. It's weird to get used to uh, not swinging out and shit like that. It's uh, going to be fun when I get going uh, further down. What have you? Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. A bit overcast though. Yeah. Never mind. The last one I just delivered to, it was a really tight little spot uh, to get into, and I just whipped straight in and straight out. Absolutely brilliant. Walmarts are pretty good, uh, the bigger ones obviously, they're, uh, but look at these, oh, you should have, should be able to get a large truck around here, go on then, obviously look, I can't get, it is only a little trailer, but I might struggle for that, there you go, there you go, go on then, look, looking in the mirror and it's just like, not cutting in, not doing it, doing it, a trailer thing, it's like, it's like towing a, um, towing a, what is it, a, 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 um, a wheelbarrow behind me, Well, there's my garden a bit, so we'll put it in the way. Newport is definitely, uh, like the majority of uh, places on the 101, is a lovely little touristy, seasidey town. seem a little run down. I think it's to do with the, the salt <laughs> batter in them. And there is the Pacific Ocean. Still won't want to be swimming in there. Even in summer that's going to be bloody cold right there. No, I wouldn't be swimming it until I got right down to 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 uh, LA probably. <laughs> no, maybe San Francisco, something like that. Then it's going to start warming up. Some people do though. It's big on the surfing here. Huge surfing, uh, big, big surf, big big surf, proper big of this. Too much of a view. Oh dear, 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 dear. something that's going to be stuck in my brain now, isn't it? Jesus Christ. Why do people do that? Wear a frigging belt. Pull your trousers up, you retards. How could they not tell the ring is hanging out the back? I don't know. Hopefully people maybe didn't see that, but it was, uh, it was, it was a labourer's bum going on. Frick a 
fucking tab end down their ass crack. They won't do it again then, will they? Take heed, people, take heed. This is pretty, isn't it? Oh, you're in there. Uh, hold it properly, trusty assistant, please. What are you here to do? Do? There is a big old splodge on the wind street. Maybe I should have jumped up and sorted that out. And now we follow the course for 213 miles. This is crazy, this. Hey, I am bothered, I get paid. So we've got a little shorty trailer. We've had one, two, nine deliveries. Uh, I've now done my Newport. So Florence is the next one, then Coors Bay. Two in Coors Bay and one in Brooklyn, Brookings. Right, check this. I deliver, it's only, next one is two carts, two trolleys. The one, uh, and one for Walmart and one for Fred Myers in uh, Coors Bay, one for each of the shops. And then I travel, I think it's something, probably about a hundred miles south with one cart. One little solitary cart. Them people at Brookings, they don't want to be missed out, do they? We can't, we've got to support them. They want the flowers. Crazy, isn't it? Supply and demand, got to be done. I ain't bothered. Nice little trailer like this, Jesus, this is a walk in the park. Now all I need is um, a little Scania 143 or something like that to do this job, then that would be absolutely ideal. Fish and chips, fish and chips, fish and chips, but it, well, giving up trying fish and chips over here. No, nope, ain't gonna be now good. It ain't, ain't gonna work, is it? Is it? Shall I try fish and chips tonight? I've been disappointed so, so many times over here, obviously. I live in the, uh, I come from rather, the uh, creme de la creme of fish and chips, you know, there ain't any better than Whiteheads or uh, uh, Sullivan's, it just takes some beating, doesn't it? So when you're brought up around that and you try some others, it's like, seriously? Seriously, but the thing is, I'll tell you what, to give them the due, I don't think I've ever tried fish and chips from a fish and chip place, it's always been from uh, you know a restaurant doing the fish and chips and shit like that, so it's bound to be frozen like that. So maybe we should give it a go tonight. And we've got some more. What's this? Uh, Walpole. We're coming into Walpole. Maybe uh, R80 when it's been held in the, uh, the bay there, it might be a bit warmer. It's going to be average, it's going to be like your North Sea sort of thing. Uh, yeah, I'd swim when I was a kid, but me, yeah, me now. Her indoors calling. Jeepers, check that out. I remember when, oh, back in the day, when was it on there? Uh, what are they? Lugworms! Luggies! I remember back in the day when uh, the, was it, National N N340 used to be like this. You could run all the way basically from Gibraltar, Old Malaga, and those little bits you had to go back up onto, uh, onto the motorway. But, um, but the majority of it, back in the early 90s and that, you could run all the way along the coastline and you could actually see the beach and shit like that. It was quite, uh, it takes you some bit of time and what have you, but uh, it was quite fun all the way up to Alicante and, and on, basically. Uh, but alas, not anymore. All skyscrapers and big uh, apartment blocks and shit like that have spoiled all that malarkey on you goddamn tourists. He 
<laughs> it's going to be stand up. I was thinking, oh yeah, this is a great, great job, this straight trip and what have you, but obviously it's very slow going. You got your sea lines a little bit further on down here. Uh, you can go down into the cave. They spin and ink, let me tell you that. Oh hell, you go down in a lift and uh, they all the it's a little cave babe, it's not a little, it's quite big actually. There's uh, shitloads of uh, sea lions and stuff like that, but obviously they all poop in there, they don't go outside to poop, so it's all very, very stinky in there. Be warned! this wind, when you come in summer and everything, you've got this wind coming off there. That's why it's great for the surf. You get further down uh, towards um, Calais or any, anywhere out, away from here actually, this babe sort of thing, and uh, it calms down quite a lot. Little snippets of it now and then. Time, but the roads are up. You can see the road a bit further on, and it's uh, right next to the edge. They're in, oh, you have cut that a little, didn't she? Bless her. But she got a little bit of a shock when she came around there. See why it's nice and easy with this little trailer. I'm not sure if I'm, I think I have come down here with my big proper trailer. Big boy trailer. It is actually uh, 60 foot, I think. The limit. 90 foot for Bendy in the middle ones. Or was it 70 foot? I don't know. I did see some sort of sign back yonder. There ain't much to stopping you going down there. Oh, oh, if Steph was in the passenger side now, she would be having a duck fit. She would be plotting it. She's not very good on, uh, on mountain sides and cliff edges and things. It must if you're over here to ride a motorbike or anything. It is an, another, another. You have to do this list. This is why the west side is better than the east side. The end. But you don't need to know that. You all stay going to New York and, and Chicago and Memphis and all that malarkey. Stay over there. This ain't for you right over here. Anyway, uh, for you English, it, it um, coming across or from Europe and that, it adds an extra few hours on your journey. You don't need to come all this way. It's only, it's only seven hours, eight hours I mean, uh, to get you to Florida. There you go, hop on there. That will do you. Yeah. Bit of sun. The flowers are going to be a bit shaken, aren't they? Shaken, not stirred flowers. Yes, this is, <laughs> I didn't even think about this, did I? I didn't anticipate. That was uh, an Italian registered van, I think that. But that's all those flags on the camper, if you notice. Rewind, have a look. I swear that was AP. That was the, uh, was that Italian? Might have been Italian or, I doubt that'd have been German. I'd have seen the, uh, the MOT like certificate, the tax thing. I didn't see that, so that's what made me think it was an Italian plane. People do ship, the, you can ship them over in containers pretty cheap and uh, then ship, ship, the, ship it back. Or not even in containers, I think you can just do a drive on, drive off sort of thing. Obviously you're going to wait a couple of weeks for your uh, vehicle to get over here. So if you 
planet right, it's not a bad, uh, bad deal really, compared to the price of hiring something over here. Uh, you know, obviously you don't, you fly out two weeks afterwards, blah, 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 blah. You don't want to be flying out at the same time as it's setting off, otherwise you'll be sat here waiting for it. See any of the stinky seals? Nice smooth tarmac, this as well, it's nice. across off the Interstate 5, uh, across the beach, you're just in um, in Woodland all the way across, that's about 50-60 mile, directly west basically, and it's just all Woodland. Very big forests over here, I'll have you know. Bloody big forests. Long beaches, typical America, and everything bigger. I used to hear that saying when I was a kid, oh, always bigger in America, everything bigger and bigger in America. And it's so true! Nothing bigger, everything is on a huge scale, but it's a huge place, remember. You woods, your beaches, your lakes, it's just giant scale. swings and roundabouts, you don't always be on the M25. I have to go through Seattle, remember, and that's just like the M25. A shit show, but this is uh, this is 200 miles of, um, well, it isn't, it's all the way this coastline, all the way, the way, the way, the way, up there, all the way down California. I've done quite a lot of this, uh, and it is just spectacular. For thousands of miles, I'm not talking a couple of hundred miles, I'm talking a thousand, two thousand, I don't know how many it is. Of just fun, fun, fun. Beautiful <laughs> temperature and everything for that. Pacific Sea, is it? It's the Pacific Ocean. Did I say the sea? Pacific? You know what I mean.
I couldn't think uh, of what you called an airport the other day. <laughs> I'm getting all that. And I was, uh, you know, an air station, um, um, an air landing thing, you know, uh, you know, thingy, an air, air, air thing. Uh. Uh. Plane station, that was it. <laughs>